Dwayne here. Phoenix typewriter. Got this Smith Corona. And this happens to be a silent. It says silent. But it's really the same machine under the covers as we know. And I did a cleaning service. I did notice that these keys are sticking. And for some reason, I haven't seen this problem in a long time. And I've serviced hundreds of these. Hundreds of these. But... If you push these keys, they hesitate. So right here, like the D, I'm just trying to push. It should drop almost instantly. They're sticking. This, this one dropped pretty quick. That stuck. That sticks. These are all sticking a little bit. That one was good. But it's not from sticky segment. This is all clean in here. These are all working fine. What it is, is the height of these, where these key levers rest, is too, too high. So, in fact, see this F right here, how it's lower now, and it's going to fire off right away, no problem. But if it gets up a little higher, I'll raise it up here, what's this, I'll raise it up and it's going to click up right there, now it's stiff. What's happening... Or what happens is this pad underneath the typewriter, it's the same place as the modern, like classic 12s. There's a typewriter rest pad up in here, way up in there. And this one is made out of felt. So it's that cork looking material right up there. But it's not cork. Right along there, all along there. It's felt on this one. And it's compressed a little bit. What it causes is these keys should be sitting down a little bit. They should be sitting right there and I'm like well that felt's got to be replaced or something has got to be put in there to make up the difference in the gap. So I'm looking at this and how it's mounted and I see here in the front Right here, there's some screws. If you look really, really carefully, and I'm gonna, I haven't ever done this that I can remember, and definitely haven't done it on camera. So, not very good light in the situation today. There's a screw right there. That screw, there's four of them. There's another one on that end. And that, it's got, it's got a slot, you can see it. You can see there's a little slot there for a, for like an adjustment. Get my camera to stay down here. So there's a little slot and it can be lowered, which is the direction it needs to go. So maybe it got forced up or something. I'm going to adjust that and see if that takes care of it. And we're going to do that on camera here and see if we can... Uh, solve this problem. So I'm going to loosen this screw and then there's another one right here right there and then there's another one right there and then there's the last one this side right there and I want to see if I can slide this down a little and take up, so uh, one thing I'm going to do here too is raise this, all these tight bars up. So that look, that gets the keys off that piece. And I'll be able to raise it up, hopefully, without much uh, problem here. So we got to trigger all these, trigger, trigger them all off, and get them all up. Like that. Connect this up somehow. So now... Now I can lower that, hopefully. So I'm going to try this side. This side here first and see. Oh, it, it lowers. It's also lowering these keys here in the shift. So let me. Sure enough, it's going down. I'm going to tighten this. This, oops. It slipped back to where it was. Okay, so now I've got it 
down. I'm not going to quite go all the way. Come over here and do this one on this side. Yep, went right down. So I'm going to try to go about the same distance down. This is the other one. Make sure it's balanced, I guess, would be the word. And tighten the screw down. I'm going to come back in here and tighten the middle ones down. Just like that. Alright, let's see if this solves this dilemma. Let me lower the tight bars back down with the keys. Let's see if this, this works. I really... It does feel right. Now you just drop your finger on these and they, they don't even hesitate. Wow. I'm, I'm, I am surprised myself that I haven't run across this more often with these models because I do these models literally every day. That is, that is pretty neat. I can't believe I've learned something new on these or at least something that I haven't seen in a long time and I now have it on video. Phoenix typewriter. Good day.